I nearly didn't make this video. The reason will likely become apparent in due course. This beautiful little object came from an idea. Now, an idea can be dangerous. Sometimes you can get lost in an idea. It can lure you in with false promises only to dash your hopes on the rocks of despair. I had an idea to use the escapement wheel as a controller for a divide by eight. It seemed a perfectly reasonable idea. I had a good idea how escapements work. I had a good idea of how to marry it with a kink trigger by the Moen. I reused some of the parts I'd used in my individually triggered divide by eight. I drew it up in CAD and got some feedback from the Discord community. I made a Lego mock-up, and whilst it didn't actually work for numerous reasons, I was again convinced to persevere. I printed out all the parts and put them together. It looks pretty amazing. I tested it out and immediately discovered some flaws in the geometry which resulted in the, all the carnage you can now see. I chopped and sanded and filed away and even added washers and shims to get this thing to work. And it does. Sometimes. You see, the trigger on this escapement is tiny, like one millimeter tiny. And I'm relying on this to catch a spinning wheel which has the force of 16 marbles slamming into it. It seems kind of obvious now that it would have some difficulties with this. But fundamentally, the biggest flaw was assuming there was a problem to be solved. My unwritten base assumption was that the MMX needs a divide by 8. It doesn't. I got so preoccupied with whether or not I could, I never stopped to ask if I should. For the record, this is how it works. Marbles enter and travel through this kink, more of that in a moment, and onto the marble wheel. They hit this backstop and the stack lines up. Eventually the stack reaches the kink, where now, unable to move forward, this marble is kinked sideways. This pushes on a trigger. The trigger is actually part of the anchor of this escape wheel. When triggered, the anchor pulls the pallet out and the escape wheel is allowed to turn 45 degrees. Whilst doing so, the wheel engages the other pallet of the anchor, which has a slope rather than a tooth, and so the wheel itself pushes the anchor back to the starting position where the tooth pallet can now catch the wheel. The anchor also has this little rubber band just to keep it centred in the slot and stop it rattling about and triggering too early as the marbles come in. So one of the problems with this kind of device with the trigger is that it relies on this wheel being very, very closely aligned with this path here. The marble has to very smoothly transition from here into the wheel, which means the position of this wheel has to be very, very precisely angled. If it's back even just half a marble, that completely blocks the marble path, and then nothing will work. So we cannot ever have this wheel, for instance, drop marbles and bounce back. And that's why I designed it with the preload line, so that when it's stacked up with eight marbles, it doesn't rotate all the way to the drop position, but only to here. That means the wheel is always biased forward, it can't bounce back, and the wheel is always in the correct position to receive the next row of marbles.
So this will now get filed away in the rejects bin. A curiosity and a monument to hubris. But more importantly, as a lesson learned. Establish your foundations before building anything.